What effect, if any, might the competition have on the eagle population? So what's going to happen to the eagles as the ospreys are hunting? You're going to have to answer that question. Okay, round three is going to bring a drought. And those of you in Southern California know what that's like. So the drought is going to mean 38 less fish. So out of your cup of 150, you're going to pull out just 38 pieces of rice and spread it around and see how long your eagles can survive, okay? So the rule for number three is for the drought, take out 38 fish. Okay, rules for table four. In table four, there's baby fish. There's a baby fish hatch. So there's double the fish. You're going to double the amount of rice and count out 300 pieces of rice and put it on your graph. And you're going to see what happens then. So hopefully they're getting double the fish. Um, then table five. In this scenario, there's pollution. Something called phosphate is in um, the water. And that causes algae to grow. The algae use up lots of oxygen that the fish need. So lots of fish choke off and die. I don't know if you've ever seen a lake with tons of dead fish floating in it. But it's probably because of a summer algae bloom. So in that scenario, you actually are only going to have 30, um, 38 fish left. So only have 38 pieces of rice. And I would expect in that one that your eagles are going to die pretty fast. Um, here for uh, number six, I did it in orange. You guys are going to have eagle babies. They have babies, which is exciting. Except then you need to find... The rules for that one are you need um, eight fish a day or 24 in three days. So it's a lot of uh, fish. So you're going to need a lot of extra fish. So it's exciting to have eagle babies, but they require more fish. And what happens with that? As you go along, I want you to notice that each of these tables has questions about it. So data table three, you answer question number four. And table five, you answer question, or I'm sorry, table four, you answer question five. Table five, you answer question six. And table six, you answer question number seven. Um, and then you can go back at the end and answer this question. Was your hypothesis supported by your data? Why or why not? Um, so you're going to go back and look at your hypothesis from the beginning about the ospreys and write if you are correct, yes or no. And it's always okay to be right or wrong. Just explain why. And then here at the end, further investigations, you do not need to do that if you're in my class. Um, but you do need to turn in a very pretty graph with all the different colors, all six colors in a pretty legend and show what your fish population was like so that I can see over time. Okay, good luck with this lab.